It's got a veal caponata. It's delicious, it's very lean, it's good for you, and it's a great alternative to beef. Now, caponata. Basically, it's like a ratatouille, but without all the tomato puree, so you can identify exactly what's in it. Chopped peppers, celery, onions, aubergines. Now, it's really important to have something like an aubergine inside a caponata. It gives it that sort of bittersweet flavor. Hot pan, olive oil, season. Red wine vinegar, and that sort of wakes everything up. Tomato, basil, olives, capers. Lovely, smells amazing. Out, onto a plate, and that stops it from overcooking and turning mush. Wow. Let's go to veal. Now, we're going to pan it. Basically, that means flour, egg wash, and breadcrumb. Three very simple stages. A couple of tablespoons of flour, eggs, breadcrumbs, parmesan. But these will take it to a different dimension. A nice, heavy coating of breadcrumbs and parmesan cheese prevents the veal from drying out. And now, she's ready for the pan. Okay. Olive oil just, just starts to smoke. In she goes. I love that sound. If it goes into a cold pan with olive oil, you've got the scallop greasy. We only turn it once. It can rip or tear quite easily. Check the colour. Wow. Now, this is where it gets really exciting. Pine nuts, capers, butter. And that helps to toast the pine nuts, fry off the capers, and really give the most amazing flavour. Lovely. Basil. Just the heat out of the butter. We'll start to cook the basil. Caponata. Be generous with it. Wow. And then with the veal, up and on. Summer's here. Veal escallop with caponata. Done.